All right, and we're back. Gonna be doing the second to last Colossus. I hope you're ready for fun, because I hate this one. I know, I shouldn't have said it that early. But, I really don't like this one. It's cool, but I really don't like it. So, this one really is kind of, uh, it's hit or miss. I, okay, look, personally, it's not that bad, but I'm going to explain something when we get into it that makes you go, oh, I understand why he hates it so much. Because it doesn't sound that bad on paper. It doesn't look that bad on paper. But you remember how I was telling you guys in the beginning of the game I'm really weak at fighting the giant colossi that are like humanoids? This is what I'm talking about. I don't like this fight. I'm not ashamed to say it. I'm going to use a save state to prevent literal minutes of time loss. So if you get mad about that, I'm sorry. But if I was doing this in editing, I'd be doing the exact same thing. So, I don't feel like this is bad for using a save state for this, if I have to. Um, I should be fine. It's just, this is a yucky fight because of a few things. Uh, the main reason it gets gross is because there's a little bit of a delay on grabbing a piece of the Colossus. And so I've tried to develop a new strategy for dealing with it. I like how I say that like I'm going to change the fucking world or something. But, you know, it's true. I, I genuinely had to like shape up my game. And I was like, all right, we got to we gotta fucking do something here. This is not working very well. And I think I have a better solution now. It still doesn't feel good. Um, oh, we need to be over there. That's right. Um, this is a badass like fight, too. This is the worst part. This should be like the, oh yeah, fucking cool. Like, and it still gives me that feeling. I would say it's honestly one of my favorite designs, but you'll see when we get there. I don't mean to say it's bad. If it's your favorite, cool. I wish I liked it as much as you do. It's only because of my really, really bad first experience with it. And the fact that uh, it can get pretty ugly pretty quick. Um, especially if you haven't been on top of your stamina with lizards and shit. Health doesn't really matter for this fight. I always say you can go through the game without even bothering with a single health upgrade. But if you have bad stamina for this fight, you're gonna really feel it. And it's gonna suck ass. This is arguably, in my opinion, the real final boss. Because I, I'm not going to say I dislike the final boss, but I feel like this encompasses more mechanics overall of the game than the actual final boss does. But, you know, everyone has different opinions. Um, me personally, I think the final boss is great. I am not killing that lizard because I got shit to do. I'm so sorry if that makes you angry, but this is a very long fight, too. Um... It's a fucking awesome run-up, though, too. You got this, like, fucking castle in the desert, and... Oh, it's awesome. So there's a lizard on here. You can see him chilling up there, too. I'm gonna let him be. I don't really care about him very much. I'll write aggro in. Um, someone's just screaming on the inside that I passed that lizard. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but, uh... I'm also sorry for giving aggro a fucking concussion there. That was painful. Um... Well, I deserved that one, right? 
I love the ragdoll in this game. It's so good. So I'm going to be switching to my bow for the first part of this fight. And remember how I was saying earlier, too. Um, some colossi are easier to soften up with the bow because it reduces the amount of time we have to take on the actual thing itself. So this, trust me, this makes it really easy. Because you see, this this feels like this could be the last fight. Like the first time you do it, like, oh wow, this is a badass arena. Like even before you get into it, you can tell you're in for some serious shit. Now, let me just say something right now. If you do this wrong, like I did the first time, you're gonna hate this fight. And it's not because you're stupid, it's because it's the way this was designed. So, uh, we'll, we'll just get there when we get there, won't we? Basically, alright, look where I'm standing right here. Don't go anywhere near this in the actual fight. It's absolutely wasted space. You will never, ever, 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 ever go back here. As far as you're concerned, right here, at the end of this, this spot right here, this is all wasted space. None of this means shit in the end of the day. Okay, this is all just pointless space. But I still love this. I actually want to go back here without the Colossus fight to see what this whole area looks like. It's fucking awesome. I'm guessing it's just a ledge, but still. I can dream, can't I? Oh, yeah. This is one scary motherfucker, I can tell you that much. So, want to just immediately get the hell away from him and jump on this little lip. So if you're in this, this is where you need to be, okay? This is the edge you need, okay? Everywhere else is just a toy. This is the only part of the fight that matters. And he's pretty quick for being a, a big boy, so... What you want to do is start shooting at him in the side and like the face because this will actually make this fight a hell of a lot easier. So, alright, he's probably gonna have to turn. No, he's doing his stippy stamps, okay. Now he's gonna do it. So keep an eye on his feet because if you fuck this up in hard you're gonna die in one hit. So he pops this part up, which is really cool. I think this is an awesome mechanic. Now, this is what took me 30 minutes of real time to understand. You cannot be on that other side, you have to be over here. If you do anything else, he will not do what you're supposed to do here. So just shoot the shit out of him. Come on, buddy. Listen to my sexy whistling, come on. I'm just going to try and get more damage on him, too. So once he reels his left arm back... There we go. Jump over here. Yup. He will not do that on the other side. I spent literally fucking... Oh my god, like 30 minutes. Because I was like, what the hell am I doing wrong? Is the game broken? Nope. You can only do this here. That, in my opinion, soured the fight so hard. I, I genuinely hated it after that. I was so done. I knew exactly what to do, and it was like... Fucking... Ugh. This part is also very easy to waste time on if you're not careful. So... What you want to do... Is we need to get him to keep breaking shit. Which, I don't really know why you'd need to. But... We need to get him to break shit. Now... If you do this wrong, you're going to spend more time doing this than you need to. And if you're doing the uh, time trial of this, you don't have that time to waste. So you need to do this correctly. Okay, here we go. Fuck. Jump in the corner. And that breaks the bridge. If you're in the exact wrong spot, which is very large, I'd like to point out. That will 
eat up so much of your time, it's unbelievable. Now, I'm dropping a save state right here because if you fuck this up, you gotta do all that over except the uh, waiting portion. Yes, I did it! Oh, that's all I cared about. Okay, I care about staying on top of him, but okay, good, yes. Now, you know why your grip meter is so big in this game? It's this fight, I swear to God. Oh my God. All right, I'm gonna play this very, very safe, I'd like to point out. Okay. I don't wanna keep dealing with that. I'll let him stop. Now I'm gonna stab him. Yeah, stop that. Knock that shit off. No! Oh my god. Pardon me if I get quiet here for a minute, but this part's fucking brutal. No. I want him to do his little head lean. There we go. Why am I falling? Why, why am I falling on this? What the fuck? Alright, calm down there, big boy. Fucking great ape over here. Oh my god. Stop! I know that doesn't seem like it's necessary, but it really is to me. I just want him to not have the ability to shake me. That's the main thing here. That should be good. God damn it! You see, that's what happens every time. This is why I hate this fight. Shit, it's literally that easy to do that. Ugh. It's because he moves a lot. Good enough. I'll I'll take pissy jabs any day. No. Alright, let's just regen some stamina's. Uh Stop. Hey, great ape, calm down. Jesus Christ, quit monkeying around. Come on. Come on. Also notice he shakes off your arrows. Isn't that a fucking cool design? To See, this is what he does every time. This is why you need that grip. Can you just stop? Thank you, Jesus. Now I really do have to regen. Ugh. I don't want to have a net negative here. That's really bad. You can see why I don't like this fight. Instantly. I like how I just fucking vorp back in place there. That was awesome. Stop! I don't know if that helps, but it makes me feel like it does. It's less time I gotta stab him in the head. I think that stunned him a bit. No! Regardless, it's helping in the long run. Slightly. <clears throat> okay. This is why I hate this fight. I don't really ever know the timing for it. I'll just do pissy stabs. I don't care. This guy's an asshole. Oh. There we go, that should be enough. No, he needs like one more. God damn it. Okay. Like I said, you do not want to have low stamina. Like, ever. That is a big no-no on this guy. Because he will shake you and rattle and roll you, and it sucks. Hard. I'd rather take the little bit of time extra to do this, too. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna hurt him very much doing this. I just want to get him to stop. Oh, come on. I know how to do it, Dorman. You don't need to patronize me.
I don't see you doing it. Fucking sitting up there telling me I'm stupid. <laughs> no! Do not fall on his arm. That is the last place you want to be because you cannot grip back up after a while. Okay. Jesus Christ. Oh god, that frame drop scared me. That really did. God, he only needs one more hit. There we go. That's probably not enough. That is. Okay, good. Jesus. Okay, so now we gotta get his last weak spot. I'm gonna let my stamina come back a bit. Oh, Jesus. I don't really need that much stamina to do this, but I'd rather be safe. You know what I mean? Oh god. So it's on this little bit of his arm. I'm just gonna crawl down, I don't want to take that chance again. And he drops his fucking hammer, dude. Now, this you can get into his palm, which is his new weak spot. I'm holding on to him right now. So... It's a bit tricky. The first time I did this, I actually did it. Which was awesome. I didn't even expect to be able to do it. Okay. I do not think I'm gonna be able to grab into him right here. This is too weird. No... I don't think I'm gonna be able to. No! Oh, that's fine. That's fine. This part's just really annoying. So this part's awkward as hell. We need to get him to use his hand. And we need to not... So you can grab onto the inside of his palm, but I am very bad about that. So I'm gonna grab onto his bracer thing here. That's not really where I wanted to be, but that's fine. That's cool. Goddamn frame drops. Uh. You can see what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get on top of his palm. Uh, yes, worth it. Worth. I barely pulled that off. Just pull me up, buddy. Promise I won't do anything. Yes. Let me climb into you. Mm. This is the worst one. This is absolutely the hardest spot to climb in the entire game. Yes! Yes! That was perfect. That was about as good as that was gonna get. That's not the worst one, but I think that should have been the final boss, personally. Very fun, too. I Even though it gives me a hard time, I still think that's a very fun fight. <sighs> but you know what that means. Only one left.